Hey everybody, I'm Mike Drummond and I live in Tulsa, Oklahoma and uh, I've been a member of this group for the last few months. <clears throat> I, uh, I recently bought a new home after a divorce and uh, I lost all my home theater stuff. I gave up K-horns, pretty much everything got taken away from me. Um, but since I bought my new home two years afterwards, uh, I finally got to do something that I wanted to do for almost the last 20 some odd years. So uh, I was, I'm was i a huge home theater buff. Uh, my dad always wanted one and sadly he passed away about 10, 11 years ago and uh, he never got to do it. So when he passed away, I, had K, my, I got the K-horns and uh, all of his other speakers. Uh, but I finally got to build a home theater and uh, I did it on a budget. <clears throat> I seriously did it on a budget. Um, I just want to show you all my home theater today. Um, I've been talking about it. It's not quite done yet. I still have some work to do with it. Um, but for the most part, it's it's pretty dang close. I mean, you can sit down, you can watch a movie, and you can have a really good time in it. Um, so I want to walk you all through it and show you what I did. And I'm going to explain how I did it on a budget. So I know some people's budgets are different than others, and mine was pretty small. So I'm going to show you how I did it, and uh, I want to show you everything. So. Just give me a second and we'll go in. So now we're in the home theater and uh, as you can see, I've created a black box and it's not all black. I did my front wall space black and my ceiling space black and then I did my walls what they call space gray. And uh, I saw another guy on YouTube who had done these colors and I thought it looked really good and so I thought, you know, I'm going to I'm going to steal that idea and I'm going to take it myself. So um, my theater is roughly 12 feet wide by about 16 feet deep. And uh, I, my girlfriend thought I was crazy for what I wanted to do size wise, but I wanted it big. So I have built a 16 by 9, 135 inch screen. So um, I built it all myself. Uh, I was going to spend the money to buy an actual screen and go that way, but when I saw the price of it, I was just like, there's no way I can do the whole home theater if I pay that kind of money. So I went to Home Depot and bought all the wood and bought all the supplies, uh, everything but the screen. Uh, but I built my frame for right about $42. And then through this group, through some others, and searching online, I bought spandex out of New York. And we wrapped the screen, and it's double wrapped in black and white spandex, and it turned gray. And uh, at first, I was thought I might have messed it up because some of my corners looked like you could see more black through them. But as it kind of, I built it like a month and a half before we did this whole room. And uh, the screen, it kind of relaxed a little bit, and so now it just looks like it's a gray. Um, my speakers in this room are... Uh, clips, uh, I think they're the R, they're the, they're floor model. They've got the dual six inch speakers in them. I bought these when I lived in an apartment and they were what I could use at that time. Um, I do have a, a very old clip center, uh, center channel speaker, uh, which is the, the two, the, uh, I think they call it the RC six. So it's got the two six inch speakers in it and it's before the speakers all went black. They saw the black centers. I have two uh, MNK MX 200s. Um, one of them was my dad's. Um, and when I got them after he passed away, my dad had run that MNK so hard into the ground <laughs> trying to keep up with his clip, clip horns. Uh, I had to have them all, both speakers completely redone. And, uh, I had all that done, so I have uh, the original M and K that my dad was my dad's, and then I went out and bought a second one, um, and so I have four 12-inch subwoofers in this room, and they will they literally will shake my house apart. Um, it's really cool. I mean, I think if something ever happened to these things, my next my next step up would be to move to one of the SV SVF subs or two of them, uh, as I could afford it. Um, but it is not. I mean. That's, I mean, they're so expensive, uh, but I'm hoping later down the line I'll have some more discretionary income to do that with. I bought the second MX200 
for $300 from a guy here in Tulsa who owns a company that some of you might have had work done by called Speaker Works, Dave Miller. Um, Dave has been a family friend of mine for years. So he hooked me up with the speaker. It was personally his. Um, he sold it to me after he redid both speakers. Um, and so my speakers are pretty dang awesome. So I love them. Um, as you can see over here, I have built-ins in the wall for my 7.2 that I have in here. Um, there's one more over here. So I bought the surround speakers that I put in the wall um, through Monoprice. I also bought my Atmos speakers uh, that are through Monoprice as well. And honestly, for what they do, they sound really good in this room. Uh, my walls are all insulated and taken care of. So we still did kind of fashion uh, backside boxes so they'd be in them for so protection and, and just air movement. Um, they, they sound really good. I painted them to match the walls as well. Um, so that was my, my main thing. Um, I, uh, my wiring and those speakers and everything cost me about 500 bucks. Is a Sony, uh, 295ES, um, 4K. Uh, I have a good friend who works for Sony and, I, he knew that I wanted to buy a projector and, uh, he hooked me up with his friends and family discounts that they have. Um, so I only paid roughly 2900 bucks for it so which is a little less it's almost half of what it was going to be um it is an amazing picture i love it it looks amazing on my screen and i'll show you some video of that here in a little bit um my receiver is something that i did get to keep out of the divorce um it's a pioneer vsx 1130 um it is 7.2 channels uh with atmos um i uh of course when you run atmos it comes basically a 5.2.4 setup, um, but it works really well. That will probably be the first thing that I really upgrade from this whole thing. Um, down below, I run an NVIDIA Shield uh, that runs all my media for me. Um, it's connected through a built-in network in my home to my massive server that I keep all my videos and everything on. Um, works great. Um, I run all DTSX HD. Uh, Dolby True HD, uh, I can uh, Atmos everything, uh, so it's been I mean it's been a war it's been a war dog for me. Um, these little stands here I got from a speaker store that was closing. I bought them for fifty bucks with a pair of them. They've got a couple little nicks on them, but man, they work great. Um, ultimately, I'll be getting rid of those because I'm going to build in my back row. Where am I? I have three seats uh, for the back row. I thought we could fit eight in the room, but unfortunately we don't have that option. Um, but in this back row, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to build a 12 inch riser uh, that these will sit on and underneath we're going to build in stereo cabinets with cooling and everything else to put my receiver and my other hardware in there. Um, everything runs up this wall. Uh, as you can see, everything has been done. You know, I've done everything with uh, the wiring and, and banana plugs and everything such as that. Um, these seats I bought from a stereo store, another stereo store here in my hometown. Um, they're like a suede type material. Um, they aren't electric, but they do have, they do recline, they lean back, they have cup holders, they have little pockets on the side. Um, it's great. We can all come in here and sit and watch movies. And uh, the great thing about these seats was I got them for a steal. Um, I basically walked in to buy a small uh, plug and I saw them and I said, hey, do you all sell seats? And they said, sure we do. And I said, well, what? He goes, I have those over there for sale right now. And I go, oh yeah, how much are they? I was expecting to tell me seven, eight hundred dollars a piece because that's what we've been looking at for some seats. Um, we've gotten a quote for a couple different places for about forty five hundred dollars to buy leather seats. And those are cheap leather seats. And he said, you know what, normally I'll sell these for about 650 bucks a piece new. And he said, but I'll sell them to you right now for $150 a piece. And I said, I was kind of freaked out. And I called my girlfriend and I said, hey, I said, he's offering me this. And she said, she goes, can we get, can we get eight of them? And so I asked him, I said, what if I buy eight? And he said, I'll give them to you for $100 a piece. So these came out of like demo rooms for small theaters that they were uh, packaging together for people. And, uh. I got, I got eight of the best ones they had, and they made our theater room so much more comfortable. Like I said, that back row, it will be sitting up about a foot taller, right underneath my rear channel speakers right there. So 
Um, you know, everybody loves it in here. Um, so now that I've shown you all that part, let me come back here. And I know I've shown pictures of this in the past, but there's some of my stuff that I'm going to hang in my room. Uh, I'm a huge Batman fan. Uh, there's, this is about as far back as I can get right now. So this is my, this is, these are, this is my front. There, like I said, are my, my clips for my mains and my center. Uh, and then my two MNKs. So, um... One thing that we still have left to do is install the Atmos speakers. Um, and of course the ceiling's all black, but they'll be right up here. Um, I found out that 250 feet worth of speaker cable was not quite enough. And so I'm gonna buy some more. I just haven't had time yet to do it. So it's something that's coming. I'll probably get it done when I do the riser. Um, but there's my screen. And I'm gonna kind of sit down here because I think I might be able to get just a better look of what we're doing here. But this is my front front of my room. Um, I had all these lights installed because there were no lights in here. There was a ceiling fan, we took that out. But I had a an electrician come out and I had him install four can lights as well as install the power plug where my projector went and some other work in the house. He did all, I got multiple bids for about 1500 bucks. And then a friend of mine who's a general contractor called me and said, hey, I've got a guy, uh, call him. And I called the guy and it's, it's just him and his son, and they they don't have a lot of overhead or anything like that, but completely uh, insured and bonded and everything with that here in the state of Oklahoma, and he charged me $600 to do it. So, I mean, uh, one nice thing about it, too, is he came out because uh, I learned that I could not get up in my attic very easily because it's just so short, and he and his son came out, and they were here for 45 minutes, and they charged me 60 bucks to run all my wires down the wall. So that was that was probably another great steal for me as well. When I'm ready to do those Atmos, I'll probably call him as well. Anyway, that's the basic room. Uh, these doors right here are going to change. We're going to remove these doors, and we're having a large uh, barn door put on the outside. And that will be a nice change because then we'll actually be able to center all the chairs because right now they have to be to the left because those doors open. But when you shut those doors, they're painted black. They're planted the sp space gray on the inside. And when those doors are shut in here, this room literally becomes a black box. So give me just a second and I'm going to get everything turned on. And uh, I'll show you what we kind of look at with the stereo here and the, and the big screen. So this is my room with the doors closed and the lights all turned out. So I am using my iPhone to film this. I wish I had a better camera, but unfortunately I don't. I spend it on everything else. So anyway, this is a demo from Sony uh, and uh, it's just a 4K sample. So... I'm going to play it right here, just a little bit of it, and this way I won't get any kind of copyright bans or strikes. I guess I could show you just a couple seconds. Uh, bear with me real quick while I put something on and then we'll move forward. <laughs> yeah. So uh, all my lights are controlled by uh, my iPad through Philips Hue. Um, we love this thing and I mean honestly I did all this besides the stuff that I already had. Everybody has something. Um, but to build this room out and build everything and get it just the way we have it cost right at $4,000. So, um, I mean, uh, that's, well, actually that's not true. About $4,600 after you add in the chairs. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you all. Uh, I'm happy to be part of this group. Um, I love seeing everybody's systems and setups and, uh, I look forward to seeing what everybody else has. And as we move forward into whatever technology may bring us. So Anyway, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day, and uh, I'd love to see anything you all want to send me or post. So everyone, I hope you have a great day, and take care. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.